everybody, Norm over here with Guitar of the Day, Stratterday. Got a special guest. Somebody just kind of was loitering outside the store. <laughs> Hi, I'm the new inventory manager here at Norm's Rare Guitars. Yeah, and you're going to have to snap to it a little bit because, I mean, you're a little bit lax on this stuff. I, I show up to work late. I leave early. I, I you know, I, I don't really know much about guitars it, either. It, which is It's which difficult is, getting good help. It's <laughs> very difficult for me. So here's a guitar that we're going to show you that Joe contacted us because he saw Michael had this, took a picture with this guitar. And this is not the usual thing that Joe normally buys, but Joe, why don't we uh, take a All look right, at check this. check it out. This is going right on the road. Ooh, what is that? Green sunburst. A refinished 1964 early 64 L5, uh, 64 Strat, Mint Guard, which is cool. Complete with broken tremolo arm in there and all that. That was free with purchase. Um, <laughs> and the crystal, by the way, the crystallized rubber band that will not come off this knob, that's gonna stay. And and uh, a few pictures of the guy playing it back in uh, probably the 70s, I mean, judging by the thing. Well, this will be a road dog for this you. This will be a definite road dog. And, uh, you know, it's cool because, you know, It'll be an interesting stage guitar. I think it'll look great in photos, um, and it'll sound good. And and uh, you know, you could just bang it around and you, have fun with it. You're gonna need like a green suit, though, right? Oh, oh, don't worry about that. I got you covered. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, the great Joe Bonamassa, thank you. And we're gonna take it outside and give it a listen. See yeah, how it Michael's sounds. gonna play it, and, and, and you're I'm gonna, gonna play it yeah. a little bit. And... <laughs> there you go. So let's here go. We have it. Thank you, Let's Joe. Outside. Appreciate it, Joe. All right. Thank you, guys, for putting up with us. <laughs> hey, everybody. Norm over here with my nephew. I haven't seen him in a while. I know. World traveler. World traveler. Cairo. Just came back from Cairo. Yeah. Greece. Greece. You were recording in Greece, right? We recorded part of the album in Greece and part of the album in, uh, in uh, Nashville. And um, I'm here for Grammy Week to support my friend uh, Eric Gales. I don't know when this will broadcast, but hopefully he wins. Uh, knock on wood. Yeah, yeah. Knock on alder. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, it's just nice to see. You know, like life goes fast, and you and you, you don't you lose touch with everybody. So it's I, I come in on a Saturday. That's what the blues cruises are for. Exactly. Too. The it's greatest our, thing that I'm not going to be able to go on this year, but I'm hoping. I'll You're, be on we always got your one cabin. of my favorite things. I'll go for you, Norm. I'll just go for you. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> let, let, let Jen go. So, uh, here's a guitar that I wouldn't normally think of you, Joe, but no. uh, uh, he uh, saw a picture of it yes. some, somewhere. Michael Lemo uh, posted it on the, on the gram. And I texted him and I said, hey, what's up with the green sunburst? And he's like, oh, it's, it's, it's cool. And then I come in today. And it's got all these photos of him with with the guitar back in the 70s, and it was green back then. And uh, and I I just go, this is just too cool. And so so it's cool vibey guitar that you can get out and play on the road. Don't have to worry too yeah. much about it. Yeah, and uh, you know uh, it's the guitar of the day, and yeah. unfortunately it's sold <laughs> to me. <laughs> but it'll be the guitar of the day on my Instagram page for an extra ten thousand. <laughs> no, I'm, <laughs> no, no, it, I'm going to use this on the road because um, it's it deserves to it deserves to play music again. And uh, this guitar came from the area of, of which I was where you uh, grew from, up, Utica, that area. And uh, so it, this is a this is a really neat uh, neat thing. And and uh, thanks for letting me have it. Okay, well, I always try to give Joe a deal on stuff. This one, um, I wasn't expecting, but I'm uh, glad yeah. it, it worked I, out. It some sounds things, great. Some things just resonate with me, you know, like the purple telly that I bought right. a few months ago. And, and uh, you know, it's right. one of the great things about, like, modified guitars is, it, is once they're modified, then, then you just really have nothing other to do than just play them and enjoy them, you know? There's nothing, there's no restoration work required. It'll never be original yeah. again. So here we are. And guess what it sounds like? It sounds good. It sounds sounds good. It sounds Especially like a with strap. you playing. And all the 
positions work, and it's got like a it's got a, a very cheap imported uh, five way switch, which is which is great. <laughs> There you go. And that's so this is a blues cruise guitar because you could take this out. Um, I saw Joe play on a blues cruise and he was playing a Sunburst Les Paul, a real one. Uh -huh. It started to drizzle and I was standing off to the side of the, cave, uh, the stage and when Joe came off I went, it's raining Joe. You know, he says people came, they paid to see me, right. I'm going to use what I have, the best I have, and, and, and finish the set with we, it. It was mid-song and it started to rain and, and the, the show business gene kicks in and I'm like, we gotta finish the song, you know? And uh, yeah, it, it seems to happen often to our sets that it rains on the cruise uh, more often than not. But, in Florida uh, around four in the afternoon, five in the afternoon. Yeah, you could set your watch to that, so. But uh, no, I'm excited about the year. We, we, we start rehearsals next week and we have a very big, busy year. And I'm, I'm just grateful as always to, to have the work. Yeah, you, know, you deserve it. Play a little bit more for us and then I, I want to talk about one other thing. Okay. It's good, it's good. Like, you don't have to wedge the switch. Stunt guitar anymore. I, I, oh, I, really? I, I wait. I wait for the. I wait for the gigs. You know. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> trying right, to refine right. my 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 aid. You well, know, I'm getting more refined as, as I get older. I need to mention something. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be on regular TV together. That's right. Coming up very shortly on Vice TV. Right. Speaking of vices. Yeah. Speaking of vices, and with Two Chains, the rapper. Yeah. And it's a show called The Most Expensivest. Right, right. And I think it is, uh, it was a meeting of two worlds. I loved it. it was, I think it's it, very entertaining. It was what great. Did I, I, didn't we bring, I brought Amos in yep. and uh, something else. And we, we talked about a Lloyd Lore mandolin and, and some, some high end acoustic stuff. And, and you know, it, it, it was great. He's such a great host. And um, you know he he really you know for uh, you know he, to his own admission he didn't really have a lot of experience in, in the subject of guitars, um, but man it was a great conversation and uh, I, I'm looking forward to it and then and then so Jen can finally post that picture that yeah. she, she's been saving. <laughs> All right, I don't want to be a bad of, influence on anybody. <laughs> no, but she's I definitely going to post that picture. I will post she's it. I haven't, at the bit. I haven't smoked pot in 30 years. <laughs> right, but. Uh, in honor of two chains, I took a few hits. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen some crazy things in this store in, in my many years coming here. You know, the Frank and, and the dog and, and the, oh, yeah. the, 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 those kinds. I've seen it all. That was the high watermark of, of things I never thought I'd see well, within the context you know, of these walls. That was my life when I was young. Right. And then I stopped, you know, because mm -hmm. I want to stick around. So I, I smoked pot on three non-consecutive occasions in my 20s, the last time being on my 28th birthday. I found that it made me hungry and paranoid. Two <laughs> things that I naturally wake up being. Maybe that's yeah. why I've been <laughs> overweight my whole life. I was like, this is not for me, you know? Wow. This, this, is, this was my vice, so. Yeah. Well, anyway, thanks, Norm. I'll, right, I'll yeah, give it a good home. You. Love you too. He is my nephew, I call him. We're not blood relatives, but we're almost. You we're know, almost. I love his family. Yeah. And yeah. All that kind of stuff. So be looking out Vice Land, Vice TV. TV. Yeah. And it's called Most Expensivest. And uh, he go. brought out the V that was the most expensive. Yeah. It was one of the <laughs> most expensive. Yeah, it was a very entertaining show. It was a very entertaining show. Was, I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the episode because it was uh, something that uh, it was just, it was just, again, one of the most insane things I've ever seen That's in this book. There's a lot of insanity that goes on. It's one on a Saturday. Other thing right. That went on here at one time. There was a couple that called uh, that I met that were really nice from Texas. Mm -hmm. And they were saying that uh, they were coming out to see you at the Greek theater. Right. And they were going to get married. Right. And they got married in the they store. They got married in the store here. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so, I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff goes on here, so. It's, it's not and just then the they guitar went to see you right. that night at the Greek. Yeah. And that was a wonderful show, and 
for a memory that I hope, I hope they're still happily. <laughs> yep, Brandon and Chris. Right. Okay. All right. Love Thanks, you guys. guys. Thank you. Neptune.